time for your cannas, bananas, and dahlias to go away for their winter hibernation vacation. If you want to save your cannas, you can either let them dry out slightly, not so much that the soil comes away from the pot, um, cut them back and just keep them potted in your garage somewhere frost free, or you can take them apart. If you're taking them out of their planting containers, step one, pull them out, see what you've got. If the containers were too small, you'll see the rhizomes actually growing down. Be careful with these, these are your clumps. Just take them apart, try and tease apart the roots and pull them apart and see what you've got. So we're gonna loosen some of the soil. I might trim off some of the excess roots and we're gonna let it dry out for a couple of days in the garage because if you put it away like this, you're going to get mold. So we're gonna cut off the tops just so that you have a handy handle. Try to clear off as much of the soil as you can. When it's wet, you might be limited. As it dries, you might be able to clear off a little bit more there's any uh, rotted pieces or decayed pieces you can remove them you want to just be left with clean little clumps of rhizomes I let mine dry out on this cardboard in my garage for a couple of days I clean them the rest of the way and then I have prepared crepes you can use rubber maids um, and I just sort of try and take them apart a little bit more. It's quite um, a, a wet clump, so I'll, I'll be teasing more of it apart. And I just sort of nestle them into the soil and keep them in there. You don't want your um, rhizomes to be touching one another. And every once in a while, you're going to flip them over and make sure that they're not moldy. So with banana plants, if you have them growing in a container, there are a couple of things that you can do for the winter. Before frost, I like to bring my banana containers in. Um, and if you want to keep them um, alive and looking great, you can actually just bring them into a living room or a sunroom and that's it, just water them through the winter. If you don't have a space for them or your potted uh, bananas are way too big, um, then you can actually let them dry out a little bit, cut them back and store them in a frost free uh, garage um, over the winter. And those ones you want to keep them on the dry side, but not so dry that the soil comes away from the pot. And come spring, you're going to want to pot them up. Bananas grow fast and so they usually need quite a lot of elbow room. For dahlia storage over the winter time, I like to wait for a hard frost to knock down the whole top growth. Make sure you have sticks with labels of what the dahlias are, because you're going to forget. Um, I'm going to show you, if we just pretend that this top growth has melted down from the frost, I'm going to show you, you can see the tubers inside. And these are what I'm going to store. Again, I'm gonna cut off any top growth. Again, we're just pretending with this. I usually let the frost do my work for me. Um, I gently break apart the soil and you're gonna uncover the tubers. This looks like a little wee baby one. I'm gonna carefully just tease apart as much of the soil as I can. I'm going to let it dry on cardboard or newspaper in, in a frost free place in the garage. And then once it's dry, I like to clear a little bit more. And I like to put my little labels right on the dahlia clumps or you're going to forget. And again, you store them similar to your cannas with the dahlias, I actually like to cover a little bit. Um, I can cover the whole thing with a newspaper. I just want to keep my, my tubers and my rhizomes 
from shriveling. So you're going to watch for mold maybe twice a month or once a month. Just check to make sure that you've got no mold. You can use a little bit of cinnamon as a fungicide if you want. Um, and just keep an eye on them. You may need to mist slightly if it looks like they're shriveling a lot. Um, but otherwise you leave them be for the winter and you end up getting bigger and better plants next season. Thanks for watching.